you gonna post it somewhere? Can you believe it? That'd be nice. Come fire a petition, sir. Yeah, yeah. Petition you they can open do all it. green space in Northumberland. Please come sign. Enough Show your support. Open the shores for fishermen, the dogs for our kids and our animals and our Come and sign our petition. Feel the sand in your feet. Come and sign the petition. We started this petition here. Uh, it's to petition town council to open up Northumberland Forest and all of the municipally governed green spaces. Uh, Coburg, the town of Coburg itself is doing pretty good. Every Most things that can be open provincially um, remain open. However, the Port Hope municipality has roped off and in some instances even fenced off pretty much all of their green spaces, riverfronts, beachfronts, Anything municipally governed, they have roped and fenced off. Devil's advocate, and forgive me, just coming just a little titch. Devil's advocate, why is that a bad idea though? Uh, well, it wouldn't have been if the magnitude of this situation warranted it. What we're seeing now are the numbers much lower than originally predicted. As we know, the Gates contagion model was highly inflated. It's basically geared toward a worst case scenario. So of course, the beginning, taking precautions, shutting things down, you know, gauging what the real risk is here. Now we're seeing that about 20% of the population is vulnerable and at risk. So absolutely, let's cocoon those vulnerable people, let's mitigate the risk for them, and let the rest of us live with at least some form of normalcy. This complete suppressive lockdown is unjustified at this point. So tell me, uh, what are your thoughts then um, about today? In terms of... Well, well people said, and if I get this wrong, people said this is, is this a day nationally that's being done? So there is, a, there is a global rally happening, March for Freedom. That's a little bit separate from our petition here uh, municipally. Um, we do have our petition out in full force today, um, soliciting signatures, getting people in the streets. I think a combined effort, uh, we have the petition out in various places and online for those who are concerned about being out of their, their bubbles. Um, we have about 120 signatures combined. It's just been a, about a week now. So we're going to keep going with that at this point. How do you feel about that? Is that a good amount? Are you happy with that? Or oh what? yeah, I'm thrilled. We're, as you can see here in the street, we're garnering a lot of support. Um, the gentleman here started this two weeks ago. They started with four. Last week we had 14. And at the peak here today, we had 30. So I would say that's great. You've been out here before? Yes. Tell me about, and again, even noticing today when the sun was out, 
it certainly seems, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, but it certainly seems to me that people are coming out no matter what. They say stay home, stay safe. That's right. But I think it's wearing on people, and you can see by the amount of traffic is a lot different from this week than last week, if, I, if I'm correct. Absolutely. So what we're seeing, what we're hearing as well is that the mental health fallout from this is going to be massive. We have no idea what the full scope of this will look like for people's mental health. Um, basically, the logic here is that you are bound to run into more people on the street, on the sidewalk, than you will in the Cumberland Forest. What is the logic here that has these green spaces roped off for public use when our tax dollars go toward having that space for us and our public use? Walmart, you're fine to line up there. Walmart, yeah, you can't go out in the forest with your family for a picnic. Is that really about health? Will this be continuing on uh, further days? Absolutely. We'll be here every Monday at noon. Uh, there's speculation talk about Saturdays again. Um, however, the petition itself, geared toward the municipality, um, will be here Monday at noon. Tell me about this last question, then I'll talk to Josh. Tell me about... Uh, no uh, police have talked to you about uh, the numbers there that are here? No, no, the police have been quite friendly and uh, I would argue that many are in support of what we're doing here. The lockdown, like I've said, it, it, as more time goes on and we're not seeing the deaths that were originally predicted, um, more and more it, it's unjustified and it's unwarranted. Tell me about, uh, Josh, you've been to a number of these. Tell me, is this, uh, is this growing? I think it is, absolutely. I mean, we started originally, it was just Todd, and then Todd and me, and then Todd and me, Tamara, and we've just grown exponentially from there. As the weeks roll by and as the data is coming out, people are getting sick and tired of it, and we are definitely getting and gaining a lot more support. Like Tamara had pointed out, we've gathered all about half of our targeted signatures at this moment, and it's only been a week. Do you think that... Uh do you think the government was wrong at the beginning, or do you think it was a, a sort of a cautionary thing they were doing, but now it's time that uh, the numbers are showing that it isn't, quote, as bad? I, I think the government's worldwide handled this on a poor, poor level, honestly. I mean, the data was coming in from the beginning. They could have taken precautionary measures at the very, very beginning and not even have had this situation happen. Outside of that, I'm not educated enough to give a good formal opinion. Biggest issue that you're finding then? What's the biggest issue? What do you want done tomorrow? I want all green, green space open. I want shores open so I can go fish because I don't have a boat or private lake shore land to be able to access the water. Yet I pay for a fishing license and I want to feed my family. Um, I want green spaces open so that I can take my dog for a walk in the park, um, off lead at the Cobra Dog Park, you know, so you can play with her furry friends. Because as dogs become isolated, they become more territorial, more aggressive. And that's not good behavior for them. My dog is very friendly, very social, and she deserves to be able to run freely. And I want to feel the sand in my feet. You know, when the sun gets here and it's 30 degrees, I don't want to be locked up inside because we're not allowed to use our land because we're afraid of COVID. There are other things in this world to be afraid of. COVID is manageable. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but I'm saying we have to find a better way for us to be able to maintain healthy mental and healthy physical lives for our kids, for ourselves, and for our animals. They don't talk about the secondary effect. Uh, kids that are locked up in apartments with no parks to play in, no yards to play in, no friends to see. You know, like the mental health aspect that's gonna come out of this is going to be um, terrible.